Before we get into today's video, there's something I need to let you know, and it's regarding um, the paint scheme preview video for the NASCAR Xfinity paint schemes for last for last Saturday's um, race at Daytona. So um, here's what happened: as I was uploading it um, earlier today, um, the image on the screen I was reviewing it, and the image came out. All grainy to the point where I couldn't make out the paint seams. I deleted it and then I redid it again. Actually, I did two more times, but it still came out grainy, so I had no choice but to forfeit it. So, if you don't see it, I do apologize. Sometimes things just don't go your way, but honestly, just whatever. It's frustrating, but hey, what more can you do? But yeah, I hope when I do it this time around. I hope the image doesn't come out grainy as it did when I tried to upload it this time around. And also, by the looks of things, it looks like they're not showing the paint schemes for the truck series anymore based on the looks of things. So, yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. So without further ado, um, that's, let's get into the video. So, for uh, this for today, actually, we'll be taking a look at the paint schemes for this weekend's races, specifically the Xfinity and Cup Series, but we'll be taking a look at the Cup Series first before getting to anything else. So, yeah. For those that don't know what the series is about, it's basically a series where we take a look at the paint scheme or paint schemes for a race, and um, I give my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, you guys are more than welcome to leave your thoughts and opinions on. Let me know which paint scheme is your favorite down below in the comments, and we can go from there. So, yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? Kurt Busch still driving that Monster Energy paint scheme for this weekend. Austin Dillon still driving the Bass Pro Shop scheme kevin harvick driving the number four bush light ford um the only the one thing i like about this paint scheme is just um the bush um thing on the side here we all know the bush commercial as it came to be um this paint scheme was always an interesting one considering the color it's like a there's a little bit of light blue and some dark blue in there, but the paint scheme, man, I tell you, it's a beauty to look at, regardless if you love or hate Harvick. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And if you notice on the cars last weekend and the week before, um, you guys noticed that um, there was no contingency sponsors except well on the front here on along the side, but right here, not much. I love it's how it's so simple and all that, but it'll eventually build up over time. So, yeah. But anyways, that's all I'd say. And also, I love how they display their product here on the side as well with the Bush can. So yeah. So it's a pretty interesting paint scheme. I hope Harvick does well this weekend. So yeah. Next up, we have Tyler Reddick driving the number eight Team the Beast Chevrolet. We've seen this on his Cup and Xfinity car last year. Um, well, specifically the Kansas um, race last year when he drove the 31. And we also saw, saw it on his Xfinity car throughout parts of the season, including Miami when he won the tied, the championship in Xfinity. And, um, yeah. But now that it's on his Cup car, it actually looks... <sighs> Now that I think back to it, um, I'm actually glad they're running this paint scheme again because it won't hurt to run it again this year. So yeah, I do love the, it looks like a silhouette of what appears to be Bigfoot. And it's a really interesting design on the car. And I love the black and the red and the white number. It'd been cool if they painted the wheels red or white, but now nah, I think red would go well because it fits with the rest of the paint scheme and i love how it has south point too well it's las vegas so um you gotta have south point because that's where the hotel and casino is at so yeah and you also got caterpillar too so that's a nice touch there 
So yeah. Chase Elliott running that classic Napa Auto Parts paint scheme. Eric Almirola driving the number 10 Smithfield Ford. There's your Daytona 500 champion. Now says FedEx ground on it this time. So that's pretty nice. Ty Dillon running the Geico paint scheme. Clint Boyer running a familiar paint scheme that we saw last year. It's his Blue Death Ford. And I gotta tell you, this was an interesting paint scheme to, um, it was an interesting paint scheme to see on the track, whether if you love or hate him. And I gotta tell you, I do love the different colors. There's white, blue, a little bit of gray, and some black, classic black on here. So yeah. Blue Death, I believe, is similar to Peak, so, yeah, that's much it, and, um, it was, it'd been cool, it'll be cool to see Boyer win a race in this paint scheme, I do love, um, the, you can barely see, but there's, like, a blue and black outline, so, yeah, and you got some, well, I say continuously sponsor your, but I also see some smaller ones here, like Rush, Truck Center, Hasa. You can see, well, I think that's Exalta, One Cure, and that Cummins Services. So, yeah, it's a pretty interesting paint scheme. Um, if I ever come across this diecast, I'm going to get it. Including that peak one he ran last year, that, that blue and black one. I'm going to try and get that one if, I, if it comes available. So, Kyle Busch um, is running a paint scheme that we've seen before. Um, if he's gonna make it through um, this weekend's race, um, he's gonna have to run. He's gonna have to eat a Snickers paint scheme because you know he's gonna get hungry. I I I know that joke sound kind of awkward, but it is what it is. But it's the Snickers white Toyota, and it's a pretty interesting one. Um, I love how there's white, red, and it has a patriotic vibe to it. So yeah, it's got some white, red, and blue here. And I love it's also got some other sponsors too, like Interstate Batteries and some other sponsors like Cessna, Mac Tools, and you got Ream as well. So it's also got Simmons as well. Stanley here along. I love how Rowdy changed the name above his um above the driver's side window, so that looks pretty cool. Um I love the sticker paint schemes and all, but they're not really my favorite. I'm more of the interstate batteries type of person, so I hope Kyle Busch can do well this week, even as much as I don't like him. I hope Kyle Busch can get it done this um, weekend. So yeah, and I forgot to mention some of the paint schemes from last weekend's races are going to be run this week, so I'm going to cover those in this paint. In the Xfinity Series video, so s tune for that. Anyways, I do love the patriotic looking colors to it, so yeah, that's all I have to say. And I assume it's going to have peanuts in it, so yeah. So anyone who's allergic to peanuts, beware of eating sick Snickers Whites. So yeah. Truex running the classic Bass Pro Shop Toyota. I saw this paint scheme earlier, and I gotta tell you, wow! I never thought I'd see Irwin on a cup car, a cup car again. Yeah, well, Irwin Tools, that is. Um, but I'm glad to see that they're back. And I gotta tell you, this has to be my second, probably gonna be one of my top five favorite Eric Jones paint schemes. And I gotta tell you, it's I do love the blue. And yellow. I love the mixture of colors. I do love how the number is partially silver with the yellow outline. That looks pretty cool. I don't mind the yellow as much going through it, but that's fine. Well, it's specifically a detail, but yeah. As you, for those who are new to the sport, Irwin Tools has been around the sport for a long time. They sponsored multiple drivers. Um, one notable driver was Jimmy McMurray when he drove for Roush Fenway in the 26. They've also sponsored several Gibbs guys, including Jones, and they also sponsored Suarez when he was still driving the 19. It was, it was like a few years ago, so yeah. 
But if Eric Jones had won on Sunday with this paint team, that would be, this would have been a pretty cool die cast to get if they make it. So, yeah. And if they do make a die cast, I hope it doesn't get cancelled. So, Eric Jones also got interstate batteries and Reesers. Um, fast, fine foods on the side, so that's a pretty nice touch there. So, yeah. And for Jones, I just hope he does well this weekend. So, yeah. William Byron, going back to the exalt, the classic exalted colors. Um, regardless if people like it or not, um, the paint scheme he ran last Sunday slash Monday and this one, they're equally good paint schemes. I do love how they're bringing back the classic black with the classic flame colors. So, yeah. For those who are new to the sport and don't know what Exalt is, it's basically like DuPont, but I guess they renamed it or something, I don't know, but that's what Exalt is, and they're like a coating, they do like paint things, so, yeah. But, nonetheless, I'm glad that, um, we're back to the classic Exalt colors, and despite him finishing last in the 500, I'm still getting a die cast of that Exalt car if it, it is available, so, yeah. My man Corey LaJoy. Um, first off, it was nice to see. Um, well, first off, I don't know, but you should have seen him getting out of his car after striking you. And that was hard to see him. But I'm glad he's doing good now. I saw his interview with Michael Strahan. And I, he did, for those who haven't seen yet, he did talk to... Um, the media after he was released from the infield care center so yeah i wish Corey the best for this weekend regardless of where he finishes so yeah but anyways um for the paint scheme he's driving the number 32 shelter systems ford and i gotta tell you this is another paint scheme that has flames on it just like the exalta car i do love the mixture of orange and black the white number is fine too so yeah and I love this deep, these square designs here along the side of the car. That looks pretty cool. And I love how they added gray flames. And also the top half, half of the car being black, or top part that is being black. Um, that's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. And I love how also the black, how black parts of the car wrap around the wheel. I know the other side of the car is still the same thing, but yeah. Let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it's I find it funny that the U has that little um accent over it so yeah but anyway that's pretty much all to say it's a very well detailed car so yeah michael mcdowell driving the classics loves travel stops ford with speed co on the side and speedy cash as well nice nice my man john hunter nemechek had a Strong 11th place showing in the Daytona 500, finishing 11. So that's, he's driving the number 38 Barry's Bullets Ford. And I gotta tell you, I think he ran this paint scheme once last year, I believe. Not sure which race, but he did run it in one race or so. So, yeah. But, anyways, um,. It's a decent looking car. I know it's not doesn't have any red, white, and blue to support its patriotic look, but I do love the gray stars and stripes here. It mixes well with the white and parts of the black too. And I see it has fire alarm services as well. It's not one of my well to be honest, it's not one of my favorites, but it's an okay paint scheme, nonetheless. And I see it's got several contingency sponsors below here. I do love the red around the black, though. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder what Barry's Bullets is, I wonder. Hmm. But anyways, yeah. It's an, it's an okay pacing, but it's not my favorite. Kyle Larson, driving the number 42, finished 10th in the 500. That was 
pretty good for him. Bubba Wallace. I saw this once. The moment I saw this painting, I was like, wow. It's nice to see Coca-Cola back on Bubba's car. I think he ran in the, I, what was it, the Coke 600 last year? Or was, was it another race? I'm not sure, but um, he's getting sponsorship from Coca-Cola, but it's Coca-Cola energy drink. Um, it's a new drink that came out earlier this year, and it was a pretty interesting paint scheme to see. It was a pretty interesting drink that they released. Um, I got to try it. It has a pretty interesting taste. It doesn't feel like an energy drink, but I'll see. It is it is what it is, but I see he's getting sponsored. I'm not sure what flavor that is, unless it's sponsoring all brands of the drink, but I do love the red, the dark red. I think it's probably the chair, I think. I do love the dark red on the car a lot. It mixes well with the white. I know some people may be a little biased about it, but yeah. It was the orange vanilla car that he ran the Coke 600. The orange vanilla that is, and it was a pretty cool paint scheme. And yeah, I love how they showcase their product here alongside with the Coke can. By the way, if you haven't tried this drink yet, I suggest that you do because it's a pretty interesting taste. has a pretty interesting taste to it so yeah but anyways um it's a okay paint scheme if i ever see this paint scheme in stores i am definitely getting this i'm not taking no for an answer so if i ever run into this paint scheme at my local retailer i'm gonna have to um get it but yeah this has to be the paint scheme of the week or weekend more like it so Okay, Bubba, I see. And I also love the line designs here. Makes it look pretty cool. So, yeah, this has to be the paint scheme of the video. So, yeah. Well, it's Coke Energy, but it's Coca-Cola Energy. But you can call it either way. I don't have any issues with it. But, yeah. Jimmy Johnson. Ugh. Let's get back into it this weekend. We got to keep, keep up on it. So, yeah. Reed Sorensen driving, I guess he's going to drive an all-black 77 car. Alex Bowman driving the number 8 Lumar Chevrolet. And now I know some people didn't like this paint scheme, but I, it was an interesting design nonetheless. But I don't think it was my favorite, but I'm actually starting to like this now. It'd be cool to see Bowman win in this, whether if you guys like it or not. But it's a really interesting paint scheme. I Look how one part of the car is white, well, specifically the front. Half of the car is red, the other part orange and of a, what is it, like a light yellow or something. But it's a pretty interesting paint scheme. I have no idea what Lumar is, but I'll have to look it up later. And the blue number is really interesting too, so, yeah. The only thing I like about this paint scheme is just how it stands out from... From some of the other paint schemes Bowman has ran in the past. So, yeah, I see you, Bowman. If he can get a win in this car, that would be a pretty interesting sight to see in victory lane for sure. So, yeah. And last but not least, Christopher Bell driving the number 5 Ream RTP paint scheme. He was sponsored by RTP in several races last year. I think one of those races was Iowa. I believe so, yeah. I don't know what RTP is, but it's a... Probably a Procore Ream related sponsor. Um, seeing Ream on the 95 car is a really interesting side, but I do like it. And based on the looks of it, it looks like it's going to have a white hood because I've previously seen it with a red hood. Well, no, not red hood, a black hood in the when I saw it on jski.com. But um, considering it has RTP on the, to have RTP on the hood. It's gonna, um, it's probably gonna be on, I think it's because the hood's gonna be white, so, yeah, but, um, unless Reem is gonna be on the, the, on the hood, the car, sorry if I sound like Rick Allen here, but, yeah, but anyways, there's also Pro Core as well, so that's a nice addition. I do love the color combination of red, black, and white, it's really, it's really cool. The number being red is also cool as well. Um, I was thinking white or red tires, but I think the black 
fits pretty well with it, so yeah, it's a pretty interesting painting to look at, so yeah. But anyways guys, um that will do it for this video. Um thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan number nine here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos and make sure to hit that like button. So well, with that, I'll see you guys on my next video. And until then, have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.